In a previous video, I covered some free resources for learning, retaining, and even resurrecting your Greek and Hebrew knowledge. We've never lived in a time in which access to resources for learning biblical languages has been more accessible. It is just phenomenal, the abundance of both free and paid resources for Greek and Hebrew. Today, I want to cover Biblingo. In a previous video, I talked about some re free resources, including Daily Dose of Greek and Hebrew, as well as Aleph with Beth. Today, I want to look at this um, and, and give a quick review of this paid resource, Biblingo. And I would like to thank the guys and gals at Biblingo for providing me this free review copy that I could go through and uh, get some experience with their tool, their app, Biblingo, so that I can give you this quick review. Similar to Aleph with Beth, uh, Biblingo, while different in many ways, uh, uses the living language approach to learning Greek and Hebrew. Let's jump in and look at Hebrew because this is where I spent most of my time. Let's jump in first to lesson one. As you can see here, a large focus of this app is to provide flashcards with both video, audio, and or pictures. And these things provide multiple outlets for you to learn, especially the vocab. But even as they combine the vocab into sentences, they also provide lessons in syntax and exegesis, even at a very early stage in the language learning process. First it provides you here the Hebrew and you learn the English. It's going to flip that around later in the lesson to force you to produce the Hebrew from the picture. And so this constant repetition has proven to be very effective in vocab learning and also in language learning. Furthermore, the lessons have an introductory video. These videos are, are fairly short but they will often provide a helpful guide for the grammatical principles that are presented in that particular lesson. Furthermore, you can also click on the lesson guide, which provides somewhat of a textbook style uh, that lays out the grammatical principles of that lesson as well. Also built into the Biblingo app is a Bible reading tab. The integration here is quite intense. As you progress through the lessons, there are certain ways in which you can tag vocab and you can track your progress in learning the language, and that integrates into the Bible reading section of the Biblingo app. The next item here is the flashcard deck. These decks correspond with each of the lessons within Biblingo and essentially recapitulate or reprovide what you've already learned in each of the lessons, primarily focusing on vocab. If we jump over to the Greek side of Biblingo and head over to preset decks, we have beginning with New Testament Greek with Dr. Plummer so that students, even if they're utilizing a textbook in, ha in a typical seminary classroom, they can still utilize Biblingo to supplement their on-campus or online learning experience. Even better, they've incorporated these vocab words with their pictures and videos and other items within Biblingo so that you can see this fusion of utilizing textbooks to learn the language while also having really helpful keys to learning with pictures and videos. In summary, I would like to say that I think the strength of Biblingo is going to be found in students who are utilizing a seminary class or videos on a website like Daily Dose of Greek or Hebrew, and they would like to supplement their language learning with a more living approach. My personal experience as someone who learned Hebrew and Greek from a seminary classroom using textbooks is that Biblingo provided a fun outlet for me to utilize the language I've already learned in order to seek greater fluency and familiarity with the vocabulary and with the principles of syntax and grammar. It just helps me internalize it when I'm utilizing it actively instead of simply reading about it passively. I think when we fuse both passive and active of learning, as Biblingo has sought to do, uh, we find that the language learning process can be both fun and effective, 
and it can also stick with us longer. In summary, I'd recommend Biblingo for students who are possibly in seminary who want to uh, supplement their textbook learning experience. I'd also recommend it for church members who want a fun way to dive into the biblical languages, maybe for the first time. Biblingo is very helpful, and I'm very thankful for the work that they are doing.